Hi there. Today I'd like to show you how Agile project management works in Merlin Project. After we've seen how traditional project management works in the last video, you can see the gunshot over here, we're going to now go into a different view type. Once again, to go into a different view type, you go to the function bar, click on, for example, the work breakdown or whatever view type is currently active in your project, then go to net plan and then click on the project view Kanban or Kanban Compact. It's basically just a matter of style, how much space you want the different cards to have in your workspace. Okay, right now we don't see anything yet because we still have to define a grouping by a status field. If we click on it, we can see there's some presets that we can use, simple Kanban, software development, issue fixing, and a lot more. We can either do this or create by an existing field by status, for example. For now, we're simply going to work with one of the presets. Simple Kanban sounds fine. I just want to yeah, change it slightly, verifying, I don't like that word. Maybe let's call it review for now. And there's also now, let's call it polishing for now. We want to put it after in process and it has like a 70% completion rate. So I just changed a bit to, to show you the features you can add, you can delete status values, you can map it to a certain level of completion and you can also arrange a minimum and a maximum number of cards that you are allowed to have in each status value. So for example, this makes sense if you're a group of, I don't know, two people in your team and you can only do a certain amount of work at the same time. So you wanna maximize the number of cards that you have, for example, in, in progress. Let's say only three tasks at the same time. Otherwise you're just basically everywhere at once, which is also not really good for productivity, of course. And then we go on, okay. Okay, so you see there's currently all tasks. I'm still working in the same project and you can automatically just see all the different activities now in the Kanban project view. You can see all are in backlog because it's mapping it to the completion rate of your activities in the gun chart. So you can see the completion rate changes a bit. If I now go, for example, and move the first activity, the first task, the first card, how it's called in Kanban, into the next status value in process, it will change the completion, for example, in the work breakdown entry. You can see here the project initiation has now a different completion value. So let me go back. And basically how Kanban works is that you go from one to the next value, to the next value, to the next value. And you can see that your activities are being worked on in process, they're being polished, then they're in review. And then once you can close this for now to see all, and then once they're done, you can simply put them in done and this activity is finalized. So if I just randomly, oh, you can see there was already an, an issue. Oh, we don't like that. We only want three activities, three cards in the category in process. Um, there's an error there. So now I can basically just move the different cards into different values. These are in review. It obviously doesn't make sense how I do it right now because I'm moving some parts in progress that are happening way later. But just for demo purposes, I wanna show you how it affects the completion rate. So over here you see the completion of the different tasks that we've touched in the Kanban view are now updated in the work breakdown view as well. So that's it for Kanban, that's it for Agile for this video.